Hey, Erica, good evening. Those new fears among undocumented families living here in Indianapolis, many who believe that those that committed crimes like robberies or maybe uh, driving while intoxicated would be bumped up the list of deportations. It appears that the net is much wider. It, it just, it hurts me. It hurts me that people don't have compassion. People just think that Oh, well, it's not happening to me, so it's not a big deal. Rosa Rosales thought all was going well. Her husband, Juan Hernandez, who's undocumented, has been checking in with immigration once a year since 2014 with no problems. Last Tuesday, he was detained in the Indianapolis Immigration Office for deportation. I arrested him in front of everyone, in front of my baby, crying for him to, you know, to hold her. Juan has been at odds with immigration since 2010. While crossing the border in Texas, he was stopped and told that he could not enter the U.S. for another five years. In 2013, he married Rosa in Indianapolis. In 2014, a traffic stop brought him to the attention of immigration, which allowed him to stay in the U.S as long as he checked in annually. Juan thought his latest check-in would be ordinary. This isn't rare. What we were told with this administration is that they're gonna focus on people who are, who are criminals, whatever that means to them. They haven't really clearly defined what that means, but now we're seeing that it, it's really clear they're going beyond that, and people who in the past were not a priority now are. They didn't set it up that way. But Rosa is now scrambling to keep her husband's roofing business running and employees paid while at the same time caring for their daughter and planning for their baby boy on the way. It, it, it just hurts. And I don't know, I don't know how someone can do something like this to a family and just because they think, they think they're criminal because they want to come here and, uh, have provide for their family. Uh, today, local churches and the advocacy group IndyCan spent a lot of hours calling on immigration officials to reconsider their decision. I did speak to a spokesperson for Immigration Custom Enforcement, better known as ICE. They are reviewing this matter. They'll get back to us as soon as possible. As for Juan, he could be deported as early as Friday back to Mexico. We're live downtown. Rafael Sanchez, RTV6. All right.